Okay, like, I get it. Yeah, th yeah, he's... The fact that Krollo can deduce all this. Ugh. Homies, man. Yeah, yeah. Aww. Alright, Hunter Hunter episode 56. Now, real quick, just to clear up something uh, I believe from episode 52. A lot of you guys were really helpful in the comments pointing out that I had misunderstood uh, Kurapika as a specialist. For some reason, the way Kurapika was explaining it to Uvo made me feel like just being a specialist gives you control over all of the Nen types, when in fact that is Kurapika's chosen ability, right, as a specialist. And as a conjurer, his chosen ability is the chains, right? I was definitely way too close caught up in how cool the fight was between Kurapika and Uvo to really comprehend what was being said properly. But thanks to a lot of you in the comments, I'm pretty sure I understand that whole situation right now. Kurapika at his base is a conjurer. When his eyes are red, he's a specialist. And Emperor Time is his ability as a specialist to give him control over all the Nen types. And while we're on the subject of Nen, something I've noticed about myself uh, watching shows like this is I get really attached and invested in a show if there is a really good concept in it, like the Titans in Attack on Titan, breathing techniques in Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen, the domain expansions and curse techniques as a whole, and in Hunter x Hunter, it is Nen. Now granted, it took a long time for Nen to properly be introduced and explained in Hunter x Hunter, but it has absolutely just pulled me in, and it is quite complex, there's a lot going on with it, hence some of my confusion with some of the details in it, but Nen as a whole, as I've started reading up a little bit more on it just to make sure I'm more familiar with it, it is just incredible. I was looking back through some earlier episodes and listening to Hisoka explain like the different Nen types and their different personality traits, which I've actually got like up in front of me. And I definitely remember how accurate the, the personalities were. Like, like for example here, Gon as an enhancer. Simple and determined. You don't really need to go into much more detail than that for Gon. Conjurers are very observant and logical. That's Kadapika, who is also a specialist, who are independent. Perfect. So in some ways it's good that I've had this little hiccup because it's led to me, you know, refamiliarizing myself with, with a lot of the minor details about Nen. So hopefully I'm more on board with it as time goes on, because with all the phantom troop happening and Krollo being a specialist as well and his technique is from him being a specialist and can often be mistaken for like a conjuring ability as people have mentioned. There's going to be a lot more going on right now to do with Ned, especially with our four main characters about to raid the phantom troops hideout and I'd love to see everyone involved, maybe barring Leorio, but Kadapika, Gon, Killua against the Phantom Troop. We know Phantom Troop members are gonna die. I wanna see some really cool stuff and this arc has done nothing but deliver just that. So that's enough out of me for this intro. I know it was a long one, but I just wanted to get all of that out there. It's time for the episode now. Like and subscribe, check out the Patreon for early access if you're interested. And with all that being said, enjoy the video. That's not Kadapika. Oh, the long hair? Yeah, okay, okay. Now, if they use, is it Gyo? Can he tell, perhaps, which one's real or not? Hmm. It's so interesting knowing that we know the fortunes, but the other characters don't. Melody? Still keeping tabs on his original job. Beloved and... Beleaguered? I don't know if I've seen that word in my life. Karapika's still not there. でも、なんでこの子ヨークシンに来たのかな? Has he just figured something out? なぜボスの娘はヨークシンに来たか。そこに俺が気づいていれば、もっと早く鎖野郎にたどり着いていたサイトの情報によるとこの娘には人体収集家というもう一つの顔がある。死の目か。ああ、鎖野郎がノストラ
俺に行かせてくれ頼むいいだろうただし俺と一緒に<笑> Look how happy he is バク待ちしずくお前たちも一緒に来いもしもしあキルア君あ,あ Is this melody? Ooh, okay. Let's go. Melody's involved too. I was hoping this might happen. Aww. Melody is incredibly understanding. Anata, Masaka Kurosia san? Moto dakedo, non de okorno. Not from his heart or his footsteps. Nanitkakunitemo, estinto da kara. Estinto? Ongaku yogo de goku goku chi sai to you in me. I like Melody, man. I want to see what she can really do. Stop. Konomichio magate hakumeto kurai. Hokano ashoto to kubet tukuni. Ksega aruno yo. We're in a populated area right now, man. Hello? Lyra is eating a sandwich. Yeah, okay, here we go, here we go. <laughs> did, did conscious wretch hearing no banaga? It's <laughs> Crollo. Oh shit. St. Peter's Cross, that was in one of the fortunes. His soakers, I think. <laughs> Chauffeur Leorio going hard right now. Look at him, just chilling on a train, man. We got like a. Look, look, this, this music, this whole situation, we got a chase on our hands. Oh no. Is he dead? I have a bad feeling about this. Don't kill the dogs though, man. I just got chills, man. This dog is trained. <laughs> I'm so nervous right now, but this is incredible. Yes, cool. I mean, obviously they're still on the train, but I'm just very nervous. Yeah, okay. Alright. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, they, uh, they can trace you with that, man. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Half a second. By gone. Oh boy. Wait, this might be sick. <laughs> Yeah, he can, he can, oh no. They're gonna think this is Karapika. Go! Oh, he's just going for it. Oh god. <laughs> okay. The troop are moving. If only Bro knew he had to leave the eyes behind. Killer was so mad. <laughs> it's exactly what's happening. Oh, this whole situation is wild. Oh, 
Oh shit! Gone and Kurapika? Okay, it might go down here. Hold on now. This track in the background is killing it. Kurapika needs one on one, man, though, no? Wait, what? That's Killua! I barely saw him back there. He's distracting. He's gonna distract. And they're gonna think that Killua was the second person, but Kurapika's hiding! I'm like so on edge right now. Yeah, okay. That shot, man. Oh, shit. Why is あらためて通れると答えがたいものだな。動機の言語化か。あまり好きじゃないし。うーん。しかし案外、いや、やはりという<笑> can see their memories now if they made up with the woman. Okay, so they've done that so they didn't discover Kurapika. Yeah, be patient. That's facts, though. Focus up, Kurapika. The melody is like track playing in the back and the calming down. I like it. Just wait for the right moment. We as the viewers know what the Phantom Troop's fortunes are. Kurapika doesn't. None of our main characters do. So they're in a completely different mindset to what we are right now. It's very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. But she can look at his memories. Oh. Oh, oh, that's so sad. He lets the dogs get away. Actually, does he know? Now he's just like gun and killer. At this point, he doesn't know about Kurapika like that. Or does he? Maybe? When they met. Yeah, he knows about this stuff. One of the, the the other servants or something, right? She's looking into his memories. Oh, Nabanaga. I mean, you knew this guy was going to die this episode. That is tragic. Why are they going to do that with his head? Oh, don't do that. That makes me sad, man. <sighs> okay, okay. Okay? Recollection bullet. That's wild. But a sick technique. Yeah, from when they met. And they see Kurapika's face. <laughs> 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 I 
He is just like Uvo right now, man. What, that's the episode? God damn. Not the final battle, man. Oh, it's gonna be sick. So just to provide some context, as I'm recording this episode 56, episode 53 has just gone up on the channel. And right now people are talking about, you know, the significance of Kadapika thinking that he missed out on being the one to take down the Phantom Troop. And then he's had to, you know, bid for his family's eyes, which he doesn't know that they're fake. But, you know, this situation still speaks for itself. And it's just incredible how in a matter of episodes, you can imagine just the roller coaster that Kadapika has gone through right like the high of killing uvo knowing that he can take on the phantom troop at least one on one to then thinking that someone else has defeated the phantom troop before him and drowning in that indescribable emptiness which is apparently a bit of a meme amongst the hunter hunter community to then all of a sudden know the troop is still alive he still has his chance and then he's just told you know gon killua and leorio about you know his fatal weakness and now he's out there with them actively chasing down the phantom troop so you can understand why he is so eager just to jump at any situation and once again all of this is played out just in no way like I could have predicted I thought it was all going to go down where the phantom troop were hiding out but no in that instance they've managed to figure out where the, the fake scarlet eyes are and you know they think they're going after Kadapika but it's actually a homie at the end who got his head cut off but we are chasing the phantom troop as they think they're chasing Kadapika and, and then it just becomes this whole mess of a situation like we had a plan like Gon was going to distract them I imagine that still might happen I thought that's what he was doing in this episode, but he was just making sure that Kadapika doesn't get captured because we know that Kadapika is the only one that can actually beat any of these guys right now. So Gon and Killua ha have kind of thrown themselves under the bus and Gon has understood the situation. They knew two of them were there. They've used Killua to pretend that that was the second person who they thought they saw, but it was actually Kadapika. And I'm really glad that Melody is here as well. Melody is like that, like literally that calming you, you know sense for, for Kadapika to just help him see some reason chill out be patient wait for the right moment because it got really messy right first of all Kadapika wants to do this by himself like Melody was saying then we had a plan that involved you know four people and a lot of moving pieces it hasn't happened the way that we thought so Kadapika's just jumped at this opportunity as soon as he's seen the spiders just about Gon's done his thing and chased after him as well but in some way it's all kind of worked out but on the other side of things now Nabanaga knows who Kadapika is and what he looks like and he's on his Uvo shit right now he is like I'm gonna stop at nothing until I beat Kadapika which is exactly the same as Uvo was which did lead to Uvo getting killed right but Uvo had no idea about what Kadapika can do uh, the Phantom Troop at this point they know that Kadapika is more than capable and at least they're somewhat prepared by being grouped up and with Mr. Narrator saying hey it's final battle time coming up shit's about to get real we're really about to see if Kadapika can handle more than one Phantom Troop member on his own or if Gon and Killua, maybe even Melody, just being there are going to be enough to support Kadapika in this instance. I just can't predict anything in this show right now. Every time you think you know what's going to happen, and it's funny because I literally just got a comment about someone saying like how hard the, the show is to predict and get a feel for, especially on the first watch. I just never have any remote idea of what's going to happen. So I'm sure however this all happens, again, it's not the what's going to happen, it's how it happens. It's going to be epic because everything has been epic up to this point in this arc. So pretty much that entire ramble just then was a really roundabout way of saying I can understand what Kadapika is going through, right? All the ups and downs in emotions, like he's doing it by himself and now he's not, then he tries to again and then people have to step in. And it seems like he's still having trouble like when he sees the Phantom Troop in front of him of controlling himself. But there's also like the Phantom Troop side of things as well. Like they know their fortunes, but but they're still like running into this head first. You know, they were under the impression, at least Crollo was, that if they left York New, they would be fine because five of them are going to die. But Hisoka has obviously like turned that around on them, right? And Shadow Shoutouts to Crollo for going super detective big brain on this situation to figure out that, you know, Neon is here for the auction. She has an interest in body parts. She's probably in possession of the Scarlet Eyes now. And he connected that to the chain user somehow. Let me grab the specifics because I forget exactly how much the troop knows. Okay, so the troop do know uh, that Kadapika wants revenge and he wants the eyes specifically. I forget exactly how they came to know that information specifically. If someone could refresh me on that, that would be awesome. But that's how Crollo has been able to track everything back to whoever 
whoever has the eyes is probably Kodapika, in, in which case they are wrong about, but he was right in, in the sense of connecting everything to Kodapika. But at present, only three of them know exactly who Kodapika is, right? Just got to try and keep all those little details in my head for the next episode. Like, like who knows what about each specific situation and person, right? So I think I'm where I need to be with all of that going into the next episode, which I'm going to do right now. The more I talk about, you know, what's just going on and, and, and let my thoughts wander, the more I kind of come to understand, you know, you know, what's going on. Because especially right now, like there is a lot happening. And if you're not paying like a lot of attention, it's very easy to get lost, which I'm really trying hard to make sure I'm paying enough attention. But after all that, I'm going to leave this one here now and I'm going to go straight into the next episode. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And as always, please continue to leave your comments and feedback down below. You know, I always appreciate it. And we'll see you all in the next episode of Hunter Hunter.